if there were three questions you wanted to ask potential readers, what would they be? What would you need to know so that you could gain their trust, gain their attention, and get them to want to know more about you, your book, and your business? Just three questions. And where would you put those questions? Why, up on Goodreads? Ask the author. You could post three questions as a survey on the social channel of your choice, the one that you're posting to daily. You could put those three questions on your website in a newsletter. There's lots of places you could put those questions. And you'll get feedback so that you have a better understanding of your audience and what their concerns, their challenges, their interests are. And then you can tailor your information, the things that you post, to their needs, to their wants. If you've ever done a keyword search, then you know what people are looking for. And if you can deliver what they're looking for, that puts you in their line of sight. Now, what about three questions you want to cover when you're being interviewed? What three things do you want to reveal that will make people sit up and take notice, be interested and curious about you and will provoke this response. I want to know more. So it's not everything about you, but it's something unusual, something memorable, something significant that is in alignment with your mission, with your message, with who you are, being you. So many times people think marketing means being false. And I'm here to tell you when you tell a true story about yourself and why did you decide to write this book? Why did you feel you had something to share with the world that was going to make a difference? Maybe there's a very unusual story around what provoked you to write the book. There might be an interesting story about the title of your book, what it might have been at the beginning and what it wound up being when you published. And I'll bet there are aspects of your life that people don't know about and would be surprised to learn. And all of those kinds of bits of information are exactly what will keep you as a standout interviewee. It will make people listen. It'll make people curious. And you always, always want to know what your next step is so you can lead your audience to that next step. And with that, I want to invite those of you who have published a nonfiction book in the past 12 months to come and sign up to be in the author spotlight. And you can do that by scanning that QR code on the screen or when you come to bookmarketingmentor.com, you'll see on my front page that you can sign up to be an author in the spotlight. This is Judy Baker, Book Marketing Mentor, and you've been joining me on the 30-day challenge for authors, posting one post each day to the, to the social channel you selected for this month to focus on and measuring your 
status at the beginning of the month and what it looks like at the end of the month. You'll see a change in the number of people who know about you, who are following or subscribing to your channel. Tomorrow, come back and I'm going to be talking about creating a series of posts from the chapters of your book. Judy Baker, Book Marketing Mentor, helping authors get more bang for their book.